Hi, this is Chris, and I'm here with another tech tip from Option 5 Media Inc. This week, we're going to talk about some viruses, potentially unwanted programs, and just general garbage that's been going around on the internet. I've received a lot of phone calls lately about a program called Optimizer Pro. It's what's known as a Potentially Unwanted Program, or PUP for short. It's not a virus, it's not spyware, it's not malware. It's instead a program that is installed on your computer, typically from a website that you visited, that tries to optimize and make the computer better. When this program is installed, about 10 to 14 other programs also can become installed with it. It can download these programs as you use your computer, and each one is meant to do something different that make your computer better. The end product when all of these are combined, however, is a computer that is incredibly slow and in most cases can't even access the internet any longer. Ironically, this program didn't do a thing to make your computer better. If you see something like Optimizer Pro come up on your computer and tell you that you have a lot of problems on the machine and that it can make it faster or something of that nature, definitely close out of that window. It's an advertisement. A lot of times they'll also use scare tactics to scare you into thinking that you've got 50 million infections on your computer and you truly don't. In actuality, your computer's just fine until you install these programs meant to supposedly clean your computer. So steer clear of these. Potentially unwanted programs. Don't be fooled by things that aren't broken. Next, let's talk about a virus that's gotten more press than Kim Kardashian, EncryptoLocker. EncryptoLocker is a program or virus that basically installs itself onto your computer and locks your computer until you give it money. I'm not kidding, money. Real hard-earned greenbacks. So here's how it works. You visit a website, it asks you to install something on your computer to enhance your experience, to play a video, to play a game, any of these sorts of things. You're unfamiliar with it, so you go ahead and do the installation. The next thing you know, a warning comes across your entire screen. It blanks out everything else and tells you your computer has been encrypted. It's locked and there's a countdown timer before you. In most cases that countdown timer has three days worth of time on it. It then instructs you to spend somewhere between one and three hundred dollars on a prepaid gift card from either 7-Eleven or Walmart and then asks you to enter that information or mail that information to the company on the screen. Now. Go ahead and be outraged, just like I am. Ah! What? Are you kidding me? You want me to do what? Spend how much money? What? Where's my gun? Now, before you go and shoot your computer, please understand, this virus is really bad news. There is not a fix for this yet. Security professionals all over the world are stumped by this one. The reason being, it uses the same encryption that we use to make transactions on a daily basis with your credit card and banks. That encryption is very hard to break. It takes a lot of computer power and a lot of time, neither of which the average consumer has once they get this virus on their computer. So what it essentially does is it locks and encrypts all of the files on your machine and then you have to pay a ransom for what's known as ransomware to get this off of your computer. Now I've listened to national news stations say you should just take your chance and pay the ransom between the one and three hundred dollars if your files are that important to you. I find this highly disturbing, but if that's the only option you have, I guess that's how the cards are dealt. This can be removed from your computer, however, you will lose all of the files. The drive will be completely wiped, and unlike most times where I can clean your machine off again and put your files back, you will lose everything. There won't be any files that you retain from the previous installation that's infected. So keep this in mind. Try and be really safe when you're out there surfing the web. Later in this video, I'll give you some information about how to prevent these things. The last virus that I want to talk to you about that's been getting a lot of screen time with my customers is an FBI warning virus. This virus tells you that you've looked at child pornography. It opens your webcam up and snaps a picture of you and places it on the screen. Yes, you're actually looking at a picture of yourself on a screen telling you you've looked at child pornography. This virus shames you into giving them money and, and tries to trick you and tell you that the NSA or the FBI have been watching and monitoring what you've done and you need to pay up. It's time to pay your fine and if you do, they will let you go. That'll be a warning. 
Make no mistake, folks, if you're looking at that kind of content and the FBI and the NSA are looking for you, they won't give you a tidy little warning on your screen and tell you to pay a $300 fine. They will break your door down instead. Don't be fooled by this. Typically, this type of virus comes up if you have been around some type of pornographic content or some type of content for which they feel could lead you to believe that you may have accidentally looked at child pornography and thus the person makes the connection that they may have done this and may actually have violated the law. In actuality, you haven't. You've been tricked. They're trying to trick you. Stay away from this. This one can be cleaned off of your computer. You can retain your files and we can get things back up and running for you. But in most cases, this is cleaned off with an entire system wipe. Everything is removed and then your files are scanned and reinstalled again under a clean installation of this computer. So, with everything I've told you, please don't immediately stop this video and throw your computer out the window, throw it in the trash, or shoot it. I understand there's a lot of things going out there right now that can make you want to turn off your computer and never touch it again. Why should you spend money to use your own computer? Why can't these people be stopped? Why haven't we found them? A lot of cases, a lot of times, they're in different countries and are not really prosecutable by United States law. Um, make no mistake, people are looking for them and attempting to seek some retribution, I'm sure. With that said, there is one thing you can do. If you'd like, there's a free program called Norton's Safe Site, also known as Norton's Identity Safe. This program runs and installs itself in one of the three major browsers, Internet Explorer, Google Chrome, and Mozilla Firefox. This gives you a nice little warning prior to clicking on links that you may have searched for in Google. So if you open Google.com and you search for cars, for example, you'll see all of your listings directly in front of you for cars. Next to each one of those listings, you'll see an, a colored icon. It'll either be green, yellow, red, or gray. Green means it's good to go. This site is safe. Yellow means Caution, there may be some content on here that can give you problems. Red means this is a known infected site. Don't go there. And gray with a question mark on it means there's not enough data on Norton's or Symantec's servers to let you know if this is safe or not. There just isn't enough travel traffic there to know, so use caution. This program is free and again installs into any one of your three major browsers and can let you know before you click on a link if you're about to fall into a trap or a website that can cause an infection like we've talked about today. If you find yourself with an infection on your computer, please call me immediately. The longer you wait, the worse the infection will get, I guarantee it. You can phone me at 757-482-9400 and I'll provide a quick response for you to get your machine cleaned up and running again. Well, that's it. I'm Chris with another tech tip from Option 5 Media Inc. Have a great day and safe surfing.